The thing is, Byron, we've never won with an offensive head coach. Well, guess what? It's going to be the first time. It's always the first. All right, John. What do you think about those those picks? Those it's the Giants. Teams? They're going to be okay. I'm I'm kind of with I'm kind of with Byron in that. Uh, I I don't like defensive head coaches because last couple we had in Denver, uh-huh. uh, Vance Joseph, Vic, uh, well Vic gone. Uh, you know, <laughs> they haven't done anything. That's why I'm excited for Hackett getting because we've only won with offensive head coaches, Shanahan, Kubiak. Well, Kubiak That's was my having, point. that was someone else's team, but he just happened to walk into that. But um, uh, yeah, I said it, Byron. I said it. Yeah, uh, but I don't know. I'm 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 kind of excited to watch the Giants with a, actually have a coach who understands offense running the team. Well, I guess your point li- lies into mine. You've you've only won with offensive head coaches, right? We've only won with defensive head coaches. There was that's the same line I was going through, but it is predominantly an offensive offensive league. Yeah, Joe, you were gonna say something? I. I just think you guys are are way off with the offensive defensive head coach. I don't think it matters whether a coach is an offensive head coach or a defensive head coach. It matters if a coach is a good coach. So you're telling me, John, you wouldn't take Bill Belichick coaching your team because he's a defensive head coach. I think I think the offense defense thing, if you they hire the right coordinators and they they delegate things properly, I think it doesn't matter at all whether the head coach is is one or the other. You want to get the strongest coach you can get. And going answer, your, you guys, you guys heard what I said last week about Dayball. I think he's one of those guys. He's a Joe Judge, where he's a decent offensive coach. He'll be a good coordinator, but he ain't no, he ain't no head coach. And uh, yeah, this guy wasn't either. No, yeah, he looks like a guy who's a lawyer, and all his uh, clients go to jail. But Dayball is our head coach. Oh, like, that was a nice suit, though. That was, was a nice was, suit. Yeah, he was he was coordinator he was for the team. Coach, he was right? for sure, though. Dable's what I'm saying. I'm saying Vic Dable's not suited to be a head coach. I'm saying he he he's a great coordinator, but I, we we talked about this last week. I don't think he's shown me anything that says he's going to be a good head coach. And he's was, a Giants head coach. He is the Giants head coach currently. Yeah, guy I know. Want, which is the guy I didn't want. Oh, maybe it wasn't on. Maybe I didn't say that on your show. Maybe that was you on my own, on show. Our show. No. Yeah, no. I I'm firmly convinced that this guy is one of these great coordinator lousy head coach types and i don't i the, in three years everyone's going to be t- going to be sorry that they hired this guy and it goes against what me and what byron was saying because i wanted a, a defensive coach so i could have what you said if dable came make him the offense coordinator and be great at that position well I, but suck I, on offense. and this is what we talked about last week that i'm not so hooked on the offensive coach versus defensive coach i think you go out and you hire the best coach and then you expect that as an nfl head coach they will do the right thing in hiring and giving authority to coordinators. That'll that'll right. get things done that properly. David will be the best offensive coordinator coach or in a position of an offensive coordinator. He would be better as a coordinator than as a head coach. So yes. the best offensive coordinator coach would have been David. The, are you yeah, saying the best, never, you saying the best offensive been. coordinator to hire as a head coach or the best one to have? Take as- Dable. You believe in him as an offensive coach, offensive coordinator. I would. I don't believe in him as a head coach, so I wouldn't hire him as a head coach. I would I hire him as a coordinator. As, right. I want to hire Frazier as he's, head coach. he's from the Saban Belichick tree. Oh, come, on. come on. But I wouldn't necessarily have to hire. Him. I could hire him as my coordinator and hire an offensive head coach on top of that, and then hire a good defensive coordinator also. I think that works. I think, I think he's making good moves as far as the coordinator and you know the defensive coordinator they hire. I think it's, they're going to be. He's going to be like the. The CEO of the New York Giants. Yeah, Vic. These guys do their thing. Vic, if you're asking me if I think hiring a strong head coach and two strong coordinators is is a good thing to do, then yes. And if you're going to have two strong coordinators, your head coach is going to lean in one of those directions or the other. I feel like you don't avoid hiring one head coach or another just because they're an offensive or defensive coach. I think you end up putting yourself, you know, behind the eight ball in that situation. John, uh, I'm I'm of the opinion where I think Dable, and once again, it's going to be trial and error. He's never been a head coach before, but I say, hey, you know, what did the Giants have last time? I still say it's an upgrade. Yeah, yeah. special teams guy. Yeah, 
So. The Jersey Boys Sports Talk. Every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Only on The Sports.